Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Bison uh, V2 made by Vicar Racing. This is a 4x4 Draghi. Uh, it's uh, 1 to 10 uh, scale and uh, it can run on uh, 2 to 4 S batteries. Uh, main uh, features are that it has uh, full independent suspension, it has uh, oil filled shocks, progressive springs, adjustable suspension, adjustable uh, limited slip differentials, got a feral electric motor, so you get a lot of uh, goodies at uh, this price. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can uh, see the link uh, underneath the video, in the video description, I'm going to link it to the best offer. Uh, you can see some uh, sizes here, and let's see what else we can see on the outside of the box here we get some information that is not a toy uh, what's interesting about this series is uh, that uh, there are two models a normal bison and a bison extreme uh, this uh, bison inside the box it's not a bison normal and it's not an extreme version it's somewhere between because it has a motor from the extreme it has a more powerful uh, ESC, uh, but uh, it can run uh, any kind of battery uh, from 2 cell, 3 cell and 4 cell, but it does come with a 3 cell battery. If you search online, you may find that the Extreme comes with a 4 uh, cells battery. This one comes with 3 cell battery included, ready to run but it will take a 4 cell battery. So enough with the talk and with the box let's see what we get inside because that's more important. And here is the bison waiting for bashing around so let's take it out of the box. So we get this nice packaging, solid this cardboard out and I can tell you that this thing is heavy and that was the cardboard we get LEDs in front and it also has red LEDs in the back underneath the wheelie bar so wheelie bar of course is adjustable it has a few steps and onto here it should have a uh, spoiler let's see what else we have in the box so we get this little box yes that's the spoiler the car racing and sealed in this corner we get some washers and screws this should fit just like this here right and inside here we should have the transmitter and yes here is the transmitter and let's see what adjustments we have so it looks like we have uh, throttle and steering reversing throttle uh, rates total uh, throttle trimming steering trim and steering dual rates and that's about it it has here a throttle stream and steering stream but there are some holes covered with this uh, label here and the buttons are here uh, kind of simple plasticky looking transmitter I hope at least it got good range let's see what else we get in the box so here we should have a charger and yes it's a LiPos charger balancing charger it charges two cell and three cell batteries 
it has an output current of 1 amp so this should take a lot of time charging with this type of charger but it's an okay charger better than other types and we also get a manual some hex keys and some additional stickers we are going to take a look at the manual a bit later let's move on to the car I'm going to take the pins out and there goes the cover what I like about the cover is that uh, it comes with uh, plastic foil over it to prevent scratches you can take this out after transport and uh, that's why we get uh, stickers separated because you can stick them and uh, give it headlights and other labels as you wish so this uh, will take transport better and improves the scratch resistance so what's more important is inside so we get uh, this uh, dust bag or uh, motor saver bag you can call it as you want and I'm going to take it over it has elastic and it has some pins that will go over it and we side we get a SG8 RTR waterproof ESCs this is made by Hobby Wing it has 120 amps and we get the four channel receiver here also waterproof and power button and bin button under this silicone cover of course again waterproof you can also see here the light connections one wire goes to the front LEDs one wire goes to the back LEDs uh, battery here it's uh, VCAR labeled battery let's take it out see the specs on it so it's a uh, 3500 milliamps 25c battery and it's a hard case lipo and of course it has additional waterproofing which should be good motor is waterproof also and hopefully the servo is also waterproof the car is specified to be waterproof so i hope they are not lying about that um, of course uh, you are going to see that this car uses a lot of metal parts for the suspension drive shafts and you can see also steering parts are made from metal again drive shafts are metal uh, tie rods are metal so it should uh, take a uh, beating now I'm going to quickly install the spoiler just for uh, design purpose because it definitely looks better with it and uh, supposedly this uh, thing uh, can get up to 90 km per hour so this should also provide some downforce so we'll see about that so it comes as I showed you previously with washers and uh, screws included easy to fix right so now the spoiler is also installed um, here is a glimpse of the manual uh, I want to say that it's uh, very well written in uh, English and uh, it's understandable and uh, it's very good that you have all the parts here illustrated so if you break something it will be a lot more easy to repair it and look at this madness here so you will not have to guess what's uh, the part you're just going to find it in uh, in the manual here so I'm going to put the battery back it's nice that uh, inside you have foam pads that will keep uh, the battery in its uh, place and this goes very well inside and it uses two straps 
so the battery is very well secured inside the ES is, is uh, air cooled and if we are lucky it should have some power to turn on but first I'm going to see what we need for the transmitter so we need four AA batteries which I'm going to install right now Right. I'm going to put the cap back, let's see if it turns on, yes it turns on, so I'm going to plug in the battery and from this switch here we should be able to turn it on and it's on, I'm going to turn on the transmitter Transmitter is on, steering is working, and we have also traction. So it's really ready to run out of the box, and we can uh, see the lights in action. Very nice daylights, and also we have headlights, which are uh, rather powerful and look very nice here is it in a uh, low light so definitely more easy to see how powerful those leds are very concentrated light only about 20 degrees of uh, field of view for the leds and also the daylights they look really nice and powerful so they did a good job with the lights also and i'm going to power it off and put the body back and the clips And that's it. I'm going to fully charge the battery and uh, take it out for a spin. Until next time, bye bye.